Hello, this is Broyer, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play series for Farming Simulator 22. This has been a highly demanded series for me to start up. Well, not this one specifically, but just a farming simulator series of some sort. Uh, a lot, uh, pretty much most of the channel actually has joined because of my farming simulator content, which is pretty awesome. Um, I did put up a poll a few about, about a week or two ago, and overwhelmingly people want to see a true start from scratch run where there's no cheating and money or anything like that. Uh, and I decided to do mostly that, a small variation, which we will get into. But uh, before we get into that, I do want to ask if you do like this type of content and want to see more of it, please like the video, subscribe to, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification so you know when these types of videos will go live. Uh, consider making a comment below, because uh, always comments always help. They, they, like, give me feedback and let me know what I'm doing right, wrong. Doesn't mean I'm guaranteed to change if you don't like something. Uh, sometimes I play things just the way I want to play them, and that's just the way it is. But uh, at least I can take that feedback and process it. And if it does seem like something that I wouldn't be would be willing to change, I will definitely take that into context. Uh, other than that, we are going to be playing on the Bally Spring map. This is a relatively new mod map that came out fairly recently. If you want to see more information about this, just go search for Bally Spring on YouTube. There's several really good uh, YouTubers who have done full reviews of this map. I'm not going to be doing a full review of this map, although we will see obviously a lot of this map as we play through the series. I do want to give credit to the creators of this map. Uh, first one is Irish Connor, and the second one is Glengar Boy of Erre, Erre, I think that's how you say it, Agri Modding. I, I looked it up. I'm probably saying it wrong. It's the word for Ireland, the island in Irish. That's E-I-R-E -E is the name of that. So I'll, I'll definitely put their names in the, uh, com uh, the description below so you guys know who they are. Irish Con uh, uh, Connor and the, again, the Irish word for I Ireland should give you a clue about what this map is about. It is an Irish themed map. It's very green, uh, very, very green, very hilly, which is very cool. Uh, in fact, we can go ahead and take a look at the map itself. As you can see, it's a large map. <laughs> it's a very large map. Uh, and all these little circles that you see, all the different color circles are different farms that could be purchased at some point in time. In fact, if you were to click on them, you can see that buying this farm, not only does it include a bunch of buildings, uh, you know, it's actually all of these farms have their own houses for like sleeping and things like that. Uh, they also have buildings for, you know, storing your, your equipment. Uh, but they, most of them, not all of them, but most of them do also have built in animal pens. And there are some new animals on this, this uh, map that I don't know if I'll give away just yet. We'll get into that. If you want to go look it up, spoil that, that's fine. Someday we'll get into some of those new animals, but there are some cool new animals on this map that we might be able to take advantage of. But again, if we buy any of these farms, we do get a good chunk of land around them. Um, some of them smaller, some of them more or less. Actually, this one gets basically nothing. Uh, this one over here gets a little bit, you know, decent amount there. They're all obviously more than we have money for. Why? Because we're starting with zero dollars. Uh, that is one of the changes for the start from scratch. I got rid of all the money that we have. We have no loan. We have no money. We're starting with nothing from a monetary standpoint, although we do have a few assets. Uh, I guess one asset, I mean, I don't actually own this, but is, is this house here? I guess we'll call this our home. I don't know if I'm going to actually bother to come all the way back up here every single time we go to sleep, but this is the house that we start at when we load into the game. So there we go. Uh, we've got our nice, wonderful little outhouse here with some toilet paper. Um, there you go. Oh, well, look, there's actually some toilet paper inside. I mean, we, we have no money, so we've got to... Uh, We've got to make do with what we can, we've got, right? So we're going to have to bring that toilet paper out. Hopefully it's not too damaged. Uh, it'll dry off and we can use that. That's sorry. That's gross. Uh, uh, but yeah, here we go. So here we go. We have a pickup truck uh, for the for the sake of uh, role playing. This is, this is my uncle's pickup truck. He took pretty good care of it. It's got a little bit of damage. Nothing too bad. Obviously, it's very dirty, as you can see. It's definitely well used, but it was taken care of. So this is going to be a good pickup truck for us. We have a little bit more equipment. And by a little bit, I very much mean a little bit. So we're going to go drive down to the store and take a look at the equipment that we do have. So how are we going to make this happen? We have zero money, only a tiny bit of equipment. Apparently, I'm running into a sign. I apologize for something. Uh, we'll make a better turn here. There we go. Uh, being in Ireland, apparently, we do have to drive on the left-hand side of the road. Is that is that accurate? Uh, at least that's what one of the mods I saw said, that traffic drives on the left-hand side. That's one of the very cool things. Also, I, let me stop real quick. I mean, look at this view. This is awesome. Someday, we're going to own some farmland out there somewhere. Someday. Some beautiful rolling hills. There's one of the features. I mean, you can see off in the distance there, right? Tractors. There are tractors as part of the traffic on this map, which is something I think every map should have. I love the idea that we're in a farming community. There's going to be tractors on the road. So that is definitely something that I really, really enjoyed about 
uh, this map right away as soon as I saw that. But we're going to go ahead and make our way over to the store real quick and uh, take a look at a couple pieces of equipment we have. And like I said, it is very little equipment at all. Oh, sorry. Tr sorry, car. I'm, I'm, I'm obviously a very bad driver. I apologize. I, I'm truth be told. The reason I just crashed there is I was distracted by the stuff around me. <laughs> I need to keep my eyes on the road and stop looking at the map because the map we'll get we'll get used to. We'll get there. But uh, I definitely was enjoying looking at some of the scenery for a second there. Uh, very, uh, you know, while we're waiting for this traffic jam to clear up, as you can see, most of the map is some form of grass. Uh, I mean, it is grass. I mean, what am I saying? Form, form of grass. There's only one form of grass. There are a few fields that do have actual crop on them. Um, and obviously the grass fields, if we were to buy them, we could put grass, uh, put our own crop on those as well. We could, we could re, uh, reseed those for whatever crop we want. And they just happen to start with grass right now. I mean, how, how much RP do I actually want to play in this game? Do I really want to sit here and wait for this to traffic jam to clear up? I guess I will. Most of these cars are turning. We're going straight. <gasps> There's a horse. Oh, oh, there's one of the new features. There we go. Let me pull over. Let's pull over, get off on the side of the road. Let's go take a look at this. Make sure nobody's about to hit us. Sorry, car. Get out of the way. As you can see, we have a horse. I'm not going to jump in this guy's uh, field. But we also have a baby horse. Oh, isn't it so cute? He's laying down. It's a baby horse. There are baby animals in this map. Um, all of the animals, as far as I know, have a context of... of a baby form basically when it is a younger animal so now as it grows older it will turn into a a full-grown animal of course but uh, for right now that's what we have apparently i am causing a pretty major traffic jam because even though i'm off on the side of the road the cars do not want to pass me so let me get out of the way here but i wanted to show that off that was very very cool that we get to see one of those right away got a uh vehicle coming towards us there's a tele telehandler i guess uh oh all the speed limits speed limits are in kilometers i don't know i don't know how to read kilometers i drive miles per hour oh excuse me excuse me sir sorry you're just gonna have to deal with the fact that i'm a terrible driver all right so here's the store as you can see we have a few pieces of equipment now the tractors over here are not our equipment we do not own these i mean it says we own them that's just flavor for the i mean this is context for the game itself uh, they handed them to us to own. We can't use these. These are just here for cosmetic to just kind of make the store look a little bit more lively, uh, which I think it does. It works. Uh, someday we would love to buy one of these Massey Ferguson tractors. That would be an amazing dream. But here's what we got to start with. So the last few $500 out of my pocket, I bought this trailer. It's fairly damaged, but uh, we're going to have to make do with it as we can. Uh, I found an old farmer who had this thing broken down on his field he told me if I could get it working, I could have this for free. So it took us a while, but we were able to get this up and running. It is heavily damaged, but uh, hopefully it can get us through a few cycles and we can make a little bit of money off this before we have to buy another one. And it does, of course, come with a very small header, but at least it has something. Uh, I guess I should have stopped my vehicle because we don't want somebody to come steal. So, steal our, no, I don't think anybody's going to take our truck, but that's what we have. We have four pieces of equipment, no money to our name, no fields, no nothing. So how are we going to actually make money in this game we're going to start with contracts uh that is definitely going to be uh and very important for us to do so we're going to come in here uh and see if we can get started on some contracts right away so before i get into the contracts i do have a mod called better contracts and it does allow you to uh kind of configure some things with the, with the contracts and it gives you just well literally what it sounds like better contracts when it's all said and done so here's what i've done i have increased the reward for contracts but i also have increased the lease cost so if we decide to lease equipment, we will lose more of our money from leasing that equipment. I thought that was a relatively fair trade-off. Um, we can have up to five contracts available. Uh, we can hold on to some of the uh, harvest um, crop as well as baling crop, um, just so we can sell that for ourselves, get a little bit of extra money that way. That's pretty normal. I mean, that's standard uh, um, settings and things like that. Although I think I technically lowered these down by like one tick just to give us a little bit more, just to help us out a little bit. Um, I did turn on this feature called Lazy Farmers. Now, I have not turned on where they never do harvesting, sowing, plowing, or fertilizing, but they do it, and or weeding, but they do it less once I turn this little tick on. So they're, they're going to do a little bit less of their own stuff, so that it gives us a few more contracts available for us. Uh, from this higher difficulty set setting, 
Uh, we do have to complete contracts within the month that we grab them. So that is one thing that I have turned on. And if we don't, we're going to have to pay a pretty pr a hefty penalty. I, I max this thing out. This is the maximum penalty we can pay if we don't complete a contract or we decide to cancel a contract. To borrow equipment, uh, and obviously basically that leasing cost, we have to do three successful contracts for a specific farmer before we're allowed to borrow any of his equipment. I thought that would be kind of a fun little thing. So we have to use our own equipment uh, for a bit before we can borrow anything, which does mean we're very limited on what type of contracts we can start off with. And then finally, uh, we do also have the concept of being able to purchase land from farmers that we've done multiple contracts for at a discounted rate. Uh, I have it set where we can do up to 10 jobs, 5% discount per job. So at maximum, we could get a farm at half price if we do involve contracts for a specific farmer. Hopefully that doesn't ruin it too much for you guys, but that is about the only other thing that I've put in here that is different from what you would normally see from a start from scratch run. So we are going to have slightly more valuable contracts, although we are very limited on what types of contracts we can take from the beginning. Obviously, on a, on a map that has this much grass, the very first things that we want to buy are going to be some, some bailing equipment and things like that. If we can get our get enough money up to where the to the point where we can get some bailing equipment, I think we're going to be able to make some good money pretty quickly. So that's going to be our goal, getting someday up to the point of making getting some bailing equipment. But until then, all we can do is harvesting. <laughs> and these are not very lucrative. I mean, again, we get to keep a little bit of the crop left behind, but it's not a lot. So we're going to have to start with these harvested contracts. In fact, there's no reason for us not to go ahead and just accept all of these harvested contracts right away. Anything that uses the same header that we have, we're going to have to do these. And we got to get these done this month. Uh, the only other major, um, I say major, but you know, uh, mod that I have that might be a little bit of game changing is that I do have a mod that gives us a little bit more used equipment in this list. And I think it technically um, can cycle through a little bit quicker and maybe potentially make the discount a tiny bit lower. So nothing major. Uh, it's it's just, just a small little bit just to give us a little bit more options for used equipment because more than likely we're going to have to buy a lot of used equipment. And I, this is just more of a way to make the, the video flow a little bit better as opposed to some of the limitations from the base level. So hopefully you guys will forgive all of these tweaks to it and accept that for the most part, this is, this is definitely going to have the spirit of a true start from scratch, potentially even more so because of the fact that we start with zero dollars and we can only do certain types of contracts. So I think this is going to be a lot of fun. Let's get into this and let's see what we can do here. Um, okay. So we have three fields, like we said, uh, none of them are owned by the same person. So we're not going to get a, uh, we're not going to get the bonus for being able to lease equipment from them or from buying land from them quite yet. We'll have to do several contracts for these guys. Might take us quite some time to get there, but we do have canola on 50. Uh, we have 92 and 157. So let's take a look at the farms or the fields and see where these are at. So there's 92 right here, next, right next to us. That's awesome. We probably will start with that one. 50 is going to be up here somewhere. I'm going to have to get used to the locations. Oh, there's way over there. Uh, that is going to be some canola. So we got Oats nearby, canola over there, and then 157, I think. Yeah, there it is. More canola. More than likely, what we probably will do is do this one first, finish that one off, and then do the two canolas after that. That way we can um, obviously just fill up our wagon, our trailer with, with canola. Let's get, I guess we'll get our, our harvester over there. Now, we don't have any money to do um, workers yet. <laughs> That's going to be something I get to get used to. Let me go ahead and hook up our trailer, get that kind of moved across. And we will go from there. Uh, wait, why did I not? Can you not hook up trailers with this track? Just... Oh, oh no. That is a different type of trailer hookup than I'm used to. Oh, uh, that's one of the, it's one of the ones that's got a little uh, hole in it. Okay. We'll tell you what, guys, I'm going to be right back. <laughs> All right, we're back. Uh, in my effort to find a trailer that would work, with my pickup, I, I actually just found a pickup that I like better. <laughs> I think this fits the old pickup I got from my uncle a little bit better. I think it's pretty cool. Um, and this one does work with this trailer. I did test that before I restarted. Uh, in my defense, this trailer, I, I have used this, uh, at least a version of this Stratman trailer in FS19. And I know that one connects to pickup trucks because I used to use that all the time. So I just assumed in this case it would connect to the pickup truck. It's okay. No worries. Uh, we're back now. Hopefully you guys forgive the momentary vehicle change but i think this one's a, it's just a cool beat up old truck pickup truck but uh gave it a little bit more damage just because it is an older vehicle but uh, he still took a tire cover it my uncle did and and it still runs good so all right let's get into this 
and let's get ourselves set up for this field that we've got over here across the way field 92 go ahead and grab our trailer now obviously this trailer's not <laughs> perfect for this pickup i love the fact that the pickup rear end lifts up to connect to the trailer but uh that's all right we are going to come over here to the uh to this little workshop area we might as well give our contract people a bit a good first impression so we're going to come over here and we're actually going to wash off our equipment make it look a little bit better um hopefully let's see if we can uh oh, wrong button uh there we go activate let's get it all cleaned up get our equipment looking halfway decent I don't think we actually have to go to the other side. I think because of the wear tear, it should still have a little bit of a... of little bits and bobs that just look worn out, maybe. Or it may just look brand new. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know. It actually looks pretty good. What about the pickup? How much of this rust and crud can we rush off the pickup truck? Let's get it looking pretty good. Again, we might as well set a good first impression here. I like that handprint on there. I'm hoping it just washes the dirt off and doesn't get rid of all the little dings and dents and things. Because those are, come on, those give it character. There we go. Well, that's not bad. We can always give it a new paint job down the road. But I think this looks pretty good. Good old pickup truck. It's clean. It's just old. All right, cool. We got that. Let's get, I'm going to get you parked over to our the field that we're going to be working on. And then we're going to go ahead and get um, Harvester over here. I actually don't know the best way to get into that field. We're going to come up this way. This will stop here. Make sure there's no traffic. Oh, you're going to you're going to wait for me, my friend. Yeah, you're going to turn left. Excuse me. Let me get out of your way. My guess is it's going to be up the right-hand side over here somewhere. I don't think it's that way. Let's see if it's up this way. Now, so the way they have this set up is there's obviously hedgerows everywhere. Uh, there's also fences all over the place there's, and rock walls, things like that. So there is that component bordering most, if not all the fields. Um, if you own the field, you can actually shut these gates, as you can see. We got these little gates here. If you own the field, you can shut those gates. If you do not own the field, what they did was they actually, uh, excuse me, let me get out of your way. I got to figure out how to park over here without parking on the field. If you don't owe the field, then they just left all the gates open, so that way you can do contract work. I don't really want to drive on these people's fields, if I can help it. I guess we'll drive on the grass field. I do have... Uh, I probably could show you that. I do have field stones turned off, because I just don't enjoy the field stone component. And I also have... Um, I have crop destruction turned off. Again, it's just... A, it, I get it. It's, you know, realistic, I suppose, but it's just not a, a gameplay mechanic that I that I enjoy too much, to be perfectly honest. I guess I don't know where we're gonna put our our truck. I, I brought it over here so that we could uh, have it nearby, but looks like I made a mistake. We're gonna bring the harvest over here first. I gotta find a place to park this bad boy. I doubt there's gonna be much traffic up this side road. Maybe we can park it over here for now. We'll just leave it here. Sounds good. Uh, let's get the harvester set up and get over there. I do have the speed slowed down, the, the time slowed down really drastically because I was trying to get everything set up. I didn't want too much of the day to get by before I got everything set up here. Now, I did not get a header uh, trailer because this header is just about the same width as the header, uh, the, uh, the uh, harvester itself. So I kind of assumed that anywhere the harvester will fit, this header should fit. If we need to, we can uh, figure that out later. But for now, I think this will be okay. I'm going to go ahead and get this stuff cleaned up as well. Control button. Just to kind of give, give ourselves a good first impression here when we're trying to do these early contracts. We might not have new equipment, but we can at least have clean equipment. definitely worn down which i love i love the fact that this is all worn out and beat up and 
Definitely needs a good paint job someday type of thing. I probably could have maxed out even the, the paint setting a little bit more without affecting the damage on the equipment too much. I didn't want the equipment to be like so damaged that it broke down in a you know, couple of fields and then we just couldn't afford to fix it. Uh, but I don't mind it like looking all worn out and stuff a little bit. All right, we got with that. Let's, excuse me, mister. We're going to come around here and hopefully we can get through traffic without too much issue here. Are you guys turning? You are turning. So let me go ahead and get out of your way, my friend. I mean, this is one of the smallest harvesters and I don't know how. I mean, it's going to be hard to get vehicles around on this map. <laughs> Some of these bigger tractors and things. There's a tractor right there. Very cool. I love seeing the tractors out on the on the roads. Definitely going to be some tight squeezes in some of these places. <laughs> really need to kind of get a better for better angle here. You guys are going to have to excuse me, Mr. Traffic. Now, I do love the traffic. Unfortunately, the traffic does not treat us the same way as they treat the AI. Uh, we've talked about that in previous saves before, where most of the time the traffic is kind and like waits for you to do what you're trying to do, right? They know that you're trying to back into a place or trying to pull into a place like this. Um, but in the context of this, uh, unfold, um, we might have issues where the traffic tries to cut us off and things like that, which will be a bit annoying. All right, start harvesting. What is this, barley, wheat? It's, uh, oat, oat. New Holland looks almost good as new. As you can see on the right hand side, it does have a lot of damage on it. I did that more flavor, not to, not to hopefully hurt our chances of actually being successful here. So hopefully that it's okay that we have a little bit of damage here and it doesn't hurt us too badly. I wanted to play to the story a bit, but if I get us dead in the water here because our equipment's just broken, <laughs> we might have to rethink some things. It's gonna be a slow start, but you guys wanted to start from scratch, so this is this is about as start from scratch as I feel like I can get. Again, it's even more so just because even at least with a regular start from scratch, we would have some loans and things like that. I'm trying to do this without loans. We're gonna see how far I can get without that. Hopefully we can, but uh, I mean, the fact that I only bought a couple pieces of equipment and I have zero dollars to my name is a bit more start from scratch than even the baseline is. Now, we are obviously with start from scratch. Um, that's the setting I picked when I loaded into the game, which does mean... Oh, there's a little road right there. I did not see that. That's where our pickup can come. Um, it does mean the economy is going to be pretty hard, right? Like, that's it's kind of where we're at. Now, we do have straw coming out, which actually I'm going to disable because we don't have anything that can pick that up right now anyway. Uh, I do have turned on where we can collect straw from contracts, just because why not? If the, if the farmer that's got the field is not going to use it, which, I mean, I don't think they're kind of designed to use it, they might as well let me have it for the, for the you know, as part of my payment for doing the field itself. If you're one of the ones that did vote for a start from scratch game, please let me know if this is going to to uh, fit that that appetite, if you will, <laughs> because I hope it will. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be, a, like I said, a kind of a hard, slow start here, but I think it will be just fun to kind of play around with. 
it's gonna feel almost like an rpg to some degree in my mind because we're gonna have to like build up to being able to get better equipment and we're gonna have to do contracts with people to kind of build up a reputation with farmers to be able to lease better equipment for their fields if we want to go that route you know we're gonna have to uh you know build up that reputation to be able to buy their fields at a reasonable rate you know a cheaper rate things of that nature i thought that was going to be a lot of fun to add into the game add some flavor and some some almost like a quest system to the game to some degree and obviously early on you're going to see me doing a lot of the actual driving myself now the dream will be that someday maybe i can is this got collision and it does not okay good uh someday we will um maybe we can hire some people to help us out with our fields but for right now, this is it. This is what we got. Um, I guess we're only about 30% full. I don't know how much that trailer actually holds. Not only that, but I also don't know how much the, the truck can actually pull. Obviously, the truck is going to be um, weaker than an actual tractor. Hopefully not too weak. I wanted to add the truck in because I thought it would be a little bit more flavor than just adding a generic tractor in there. Having that fact that we have to work towards a tractor someday, kind of be part of our, our quest, if you will. Now the hedges do have collision. Uh, now if you own the field, we can get rid of the hedges. They did include a way for us to remove the hedges, remove the fences if we want to do that. Plus if we actually buy a farm, uh, all of the buildings as far as I understand on the farm are sellable. So if we just want to clean up the farm and like put our own buildings down, we have that option. Um, so there's definitely a lot of, a lot of customization ability uh, with this particular map, which is pretty cool. I just love the scenery. I think it looks really good. I love the hilly, kind of the rolling hills and stuff like that. It's just, I don't know, it gives it character, and I think it's going to be a fun map to play on. I'm surprised the tractor noise might be a little bit loud. I apologize. Let me bring it down to about there. I know some people like the tractor noise, and I do. I don't mind it. I just want to make sure it's not too loud for you guys to, to be able to hear me and stuff like that. Let me know just in the comments below if I should increase the way it was or if it's fine now or whatever. At some point, I mean, I might, if I'm going to be doing a lot of, like, not talking, uh, I think in the last series I did, I actually turned on uh, some, just some generic uh, copyright-free music just to kind of have something in the background because we can't really play the radio as far as I know. I don't think the radio allows us to, to play without hitting copyright issues. So we might, um, I might try to turn some music if that will help with some of the boring moments. A lot of these fields are pretty, you know, relatively, I would say small, you know, for some, for, to some sense. I mean, this one's actually probably one of the bigger, you know, fields uh, as far as, uh, there's a lot of really small fields. This one's actually, I would say this is probably average. I, that's probably what I'm looking for, the word. <laughs> it's about an average size field for the, for this map, I think. Which is good. I don't think we need anything big. I think we can just settle in and have some fun with some of these smaller fields. Hopefully earn up enough money someday to... Like I said, I think the first purchase that we're going to want to get... I mean, obviously, we want a tractor. Uh, that's kind of the baseline of <laughs> any you know, farming setup. you got to have some sort of tractor. But uh, I think one of the first things we buy will be... For that tractor, will be like a mower. We want a mower, and we want uh, hopefully a baler. Uh-oh, a little bit of a lag spike. Um, that way, we can start doing some of the belling contracts, because those are going to be very lucrative. These harvesting contracts are not super um profitable for us but that's okay we'll get through it and um something for us to look forward to because i can speed up the game by at least a single single time speed now that i'm actually doing something <laughs>
Already a third of the way done with our first contract. Where's my shrimps? <laughs> I couldn't, couldn't move my camera view for a second there. I do, oh, by the way, for those that have not seen me play before, I do use a controller. Um, I personally just find it easier. I mean, there's no reason why you can't play this game with a keyboard and mouse. I just personally, I have one of the uh, Xbox, whatever, the Elite Series controllers. I just think it gives me a little more control for the driving and stuff like that. I enjoy it more. So, obviously, if you're playing on a console, you probably are using a controller anyway. So, there you go. Going up this hill is a little bit slow, isn't it? I love the love the the visual here. This is a really just visually a very cool map. There are some areas like if you were to play on this map yourself and go look around, there are some areas that have lower textures that look a little goofy, but I, I, my understanding is the lower textures in some places might be necessary just because of uh performance issues things like that. I did see some one of the patch notes talking about how they had to lower some textures for that reason. Um So, I mean it's just one of those things. If you you're trying to build a custom map it's it's you got you got to deal with uh all sorts of different things i'm sure i've never even tried to build a custom map i think it'd be cool but i don't know if i'm creative in that way like I, my creativity flows in other ways not not necessarily creating like maps like this probably so much respect to people that do create custom maps it's very very cool i love the i still love the tractors driving around i don't know why it's just i mean you guys have heard me talk about that before when i have my workers driving around with tractors it just feels cool now I get to see them driving around without having to, it's not my worker, it's just somebody else randomly out there driving a tractor up. Right, I'm going to get, let's go ahead and get this harvester filled and then we probably will put a cut in the video for today. But I figured I'll bring you guys along, at least for this first bit. And uh, we'll go from there. Obviously this field has lots of weeds in it, it looks like, although they are dead, so hopefully that means they we're taken care of. I don't know how much yield we're actually going to get off this field. Uh, we do have to give most of it to the, the farmer, but we get to keep a little bit for ourselves to get a little extra side money. I mean, maybe the first thing we buy is a baler um, to go with our... Um, to be able to pick up some of the straw and sell that straw. I mean, we're going to need a baler for the farming, for the mowing anyway. So maybe the baler, and the baler is very expensive though. <laughs> the baler is probably one of the more expensive parts. We can get a relatively cheap mower. The baler is going to be pretty beefy. Unless we can find a good used one. All this weight, we're down to three miles an hour going uphill. I mean, I guess I could go up the hill and then harvest downward, but <laughs> this will be fine. We'll get it done. Probably two, two and a half harvester loads, maybe, uh, to finish this field. Actually, it might just be two harvester loads. The rest of this might not, might not, might just fit all in one more load. I think our trailer holds 8,000 liters, although I do have it turned on where it is weight sensitive. 
so that means that it uh, will limit us based on the weight of the crop that we actually are putting into it. I may turn that off at some point, but I figured with the pickup truck anyway, we're going to be struggling for, for weight just in general. So having that turned on felt like a good kind of way to balance that as well. Once we get like actual tractors pulling through stuff, I might turn that off because I don't know. It's, oh, I, I've always, I, I don't mind it being a thing, but I just wish it was better, easier for me to understand how much uh, a trailer could hold of, you know, any particular crop just from looking at it, you know, because that just tells me, you know, gives me a better idea of how much it can hold. Kind of have to guess based on the weight with the setting turned on. All right. There we go. 5,600 liters. That is that. Let us pipe out. Let's go get our pickup truck and uh, take our first load to the market. Can I just back up here? Nobody, no traffic. Oh, there's traffic. Do I see more traffic coming? Excuse me. Beep, beep. Beep, beep. Actually, I'm just going to... Hey, 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 hey. I was backing up here. See, that's, that's one thing. Yes, I need to watch for traffic, but obviously, if traffic saw me backing out like that, most traffic would be nice and stop for me. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's one thing about the traffic. I love the traffic. I hate that the traffic is very... They're, they're bullies, okay? That's what they are. They're bullies. Technically, the you know, the bed of our pickup can hold some stuff too, although I'm not going to put grain in there. This trailer can get a little bit bigger. I went with a medium size, just kind of felt like that was a good kind of compromise. Uh, if we have a little bit of money, we feel like we want a bigger trailer, we could always increase that. Plus, we can also turn it into a bale trailer. That is as an option. Let's see much how, how much this actually holds from a weight standpoint. Hopefully, the truck can pull it. <laughs> that's the first big test uh let's see where this contract needs to go because i do see a couple things blinking and i don't know which one this particular contract is going to go to it is going to go to the bally spring mark 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 marked <laughs> with a t uh which is uh... oh it's up here it's coming one of these two that's the sell everything uh, i think that's the bally spring mark so way up there so we're here. We'll have to come out this road, go straight up, and that'll get us to it. Perfect. All right. Looks like the trailer actually will hold all of the crop. Um, I mean, I could wait for more, but I really think we're going to get into a place where this pickup is not going to be able to pull it anyway. So let's go ahead and take this, drop this off, and I think that'll be a good stopping point for this episode. This first episode can be a bit longer than probably most of the episodes. Most of the episodes are probably going to do a little bit more skipping along. I kind of wanted to bring you guys along for a bunch of this early stuff because I think it's going to be pretty cool. This pickup's pulling pretty good. So this will work for us, I think. Pretty happy. Plus, I like the way it looks. It's awesome. Even with the beat up dents and dings and scratches and <laughs> I don't know, it just looks cool. I, if you can't tell, and I hopefully you can, uh, I'm pretty excited about this save. So I really hope you guys are going to be happy with this as well. Happy with the couple compromises that I made to try and make things a bit more interesting, as opposed to just a complete vanilla start from scratch. Um, playing on obviously a custom map and then having a few other contract settings that I've decided to change. Hopefully, what is that? Oh, is that deer? Okay. For some reason, I thought it looked like a different type of animal. Um, zip along up here. Get to see some more of the scenery here. Very, very cool map, like I said. I've got a bridge coming up. Oh, I love that waterfall over there, or that water, water mill over there. That is so cool. <laughs> I love it. We're going to be seeing a lot of that stuff where I'm going to be like, oh, look at that. A lot. There are some collectibles on the map. Let me know in the comments below if you think it's okay for me to pick up collectibles. Obviously, collectibles, I think, would give us a thousand bucks. Um, if you don't think it's okay, because there's one right there, right? There's a little tractor right there, a little blue one. If you do not think it's okay for me to pick up collectibles as part of the save, or, you know, if the majority think that's not kind of how they want the save to go, then that's fine. I'm not going to go hunting collectibles. It's not going to be like that. I'm going to, just if I see one along the way, then, I'm, then am I allowed to pick it up or not? Which does give us a little tiny bit of extra money. Not a lot, though, when you all think about it. There's just really such a minor amount of money. 
I, I think this is the sell point here. I sure hope so. Uh, this is also where you buy the, the animals and things like that. So pretty good, cool little sell point up here. Let me just make sure that this is the right one. Valley Springs Mart, just to confirm, because I'm not used to obviously where everything is yet. Valley Spring Mart, yep. And this is oats. Uh, I, I have nowhere to hold um, any of the grain or anything like that. So we're just going to sell the grain at the current price. So when we do a contract, we're not going to be storing it for right now. We will just sell everything we got and just enjoy the little bit extra money that we get. All right. Well, before I drive all the way back, oh, there's another tractor pulling a trailer. I love it. That's awesome. <laughs> there's so much about this map that I really enjoy. Uh, before, uh, you know what? I'm actually going to run over here real quick. We're going to end by looking at these cows over here. Excuse me, person whose field this is. Sorry. Excuse me. Excuse me. I just wanted to show off the cows. So we do have some cows over here. And I think these are, yeah, these are, um, this is a calves right here. So these are the baby cows. There you go. Very cool. Very cool. I love it. Oh, come on. The fact that they're free ranging in this open field. That's, that's awesome too. Come on. That's next level. <laughs> I've, I've tried to, uh, to make this happen myself on some of my saves because I like the idea of making my own pastures and things like that. So there are a couple um, animal uh, buildings that you can get that basically are just open fields like this and you just put your own fences around. This is awesome. I, I really love this a lot. And this is just an open range here. Uh, here's the food, here's the water, and then they're just roaming through, a, through an empty field, which is pretty awesome. So please, it would really help me out a lot if you guys let me know either liking the video or letting me know in the comments below what you think about this save. If you're excited about the save, if you think, like I said, the compromises that I made as far as the contracts, trying to get us a little tiny bit more money from those contracts, if that's okay, just to, just to speed things up just slightly, it's really not going to make a huge difference because it's still going to be a very slow start. Um, hopefully you guys are okay with that. Again, any comments, comments you can make to help me know that you guys are okay with this really, really helps me out a lot because I mean, spending time doing a YouTube series is is a risk, at an all, at, you know, no matter how you do it, because, you know, obviously you spend hours upon hours, you know, over the course of a series, and whether, if it doesn't doesn't get a lot of views, then, you know, is that time wasted? I mean, at least I had fun playing a video game, right? And Which is good, but I know a lot of people have asked for a farming simulator save, and if this does not quite, you know, hit what they're looking for, then that will, I'll feel like that would be a little bit of a disappointment on my side, and I don't want to, I don't want to disappoint people, so... In the context of the fact that this is a save that I'm trying to do for you guys, the viewers, please let me know if this is the type of save that you're looking forward to. And uh, we're going to, I think I'm going to be having a lot of fun with it. So yeah, there we go. <laughs> Without further ado, uh, I do appreciate you guys watching. May God bless you. And I really do hope you join me again next time. Thank you and goodbye. I wanted to give a special shout out to the following channel members. Thank you so much for supporting the channel.